here video. It's not even really be a part one, two, or three. It's more of an update, I guess. Garage is a fucking mess. This is what I get when I try working on two four wheelers and clean at the same time. Fucking mess. This is red too. Fucking pretty much. Well, I mean. It's done, but it's not done. Still got to do more sanding and buffing on the plastics. I'm going to do front brakes. Need shoes and springs. And you got to put the seat cover on it. Other than that, I mean, yeah, I put the uh, mud flaps on and the fender, the fender stays. Other than that, I mean, it fucking runs and rides. Been using it around the yard the last couple days. This here. This is the first red one, first red four wheeler. I don't think I made any videos on it. I mean, said a couple things about it. But this engine, basically building it from spare parts. One half the case is ninety one. The other half of the case was part uh, part of the original engine that was in this one. Um, ended up getting new engine bearings gaskets and seals and picked through all the parts found all the parts used the parts that had the least amount of wear on them and built one engine it's not done but it's real freaking close all i gotta do is uh i gotta put the other studs in put the side cover on put the jug and head on adjust the timing chain put the starter in I mean, not necessarily in that order, but figured uh put the engine in while it's at this point. Number one, it's lighter. Number two, I can put the head and all that shit on with the lower end in the frame. Ended up putting black feather coat on it, the clear coat it, so... Once all that shit dries, I'll throw the bottom part of the engine in. Got a new U-joint put in the rear drive shaft. God damn, that was expensive. So, I'm going to get up in the morning tomorrow. Well, it's about 1 o'clock now. we got to get up around 7. I'll come out here, spray clear coat on it, let it dry. I got a couple appointments tomorrow, and when I come back, it all should be dry. Run my 1,000 watt heater, let it bake. Come home, throw the engine in it, start putting the top end on. Fucking wiring harness, where's that at? This is the wiring harness. For that's going to go on here. This wiring harness here was the original harness that was in this four-wheeler when I got it. It's, it's fucking ass backwards. What needs to happen is this fucking engine needs to come out of here, get rebuilt, and take this harness out and put it back in here so it's original. But figured this here thing's been completely rebuilt. Looks pretty. Might as well just put it in here and be done with it. But I have to go through this harness, clean it all up. Seen a couple, yeah, like right here. It's fucking hillbilly. I don't do that shit. Fix that, clean it up, make it look pretty, put it in, mount it on the frame. And, uh, gotta get oil and a filter for this thing. So I'm hoping, let's see, I'll definitely have this running Saturday, no later than Sunday. Today is, or it's early Friday morning right now. So. Gotta get freaking tires. May have a set lined up. I mean, these tires, they weren't used that much. But they're dry rotted from sitting. So, definitely gotta peel the tires off. Sandblast the rims. Uh, straighten the rims out. Or might just end up running these rear and getting new fronts. Definitely get uh, mud, what are these, dirt devils, so they match the uh, rear. Uh, the 
those basket racks that they go on here too. They need to get sandblasted and then PR 15. So I mean, this here quad, it's so far away, but we're getting closer. Then we have music. Great deals are happening, but uh, yeah, I've had a cold the last couple days. I'm real fucking congested, and I feel like shit. I look like shit. I smell like shit. Um, yeah. So, Ugh, fuck, and. I do not like using gasket sealer or gasket maker on engines, but I had no choice. The gasket set that I got, none of the gaskets fit, except for the head gaskets and jug gaskets. So on these, on the side covers, I used gasket maker. And it was a pain in the ass. Well, it wasn't really a pain in the ass, but took forever to do it so obviously when you put your two surfaces together gasket maker is gonna fucking ooze out so it was like trial and error and got it to where it ooze on the outside but not on the inside of the case if that makes sense because eventually when all that gasket sealer on the inside flakes off you get sucked up in your fucking oil pump i think i, I just don't want that shit flying around the engine Ended up putting a small bead on the center of the case just to be safe. Uh, yeah, the these the side covers I didn't paint, which this one's going to end up coming off. I mean, I was just going to run it as is, but uh, it's going to go on there for now, but later it's going to come back off. I say later, but watch 15 years later. It'll still be on here. Or, no, the other one. The other case cover. I'll uh, media blast it and then paint paint it. Make it look pretty. And I'll just swap them out. Same way with the other side. The other side is fucking way worse. The other case cover. So, that's the only thing that got painted was the main case... The jug is getting painted. And then uh, the valve cover, the cylinder head. All I did was I soaked these bitches in a simple green, scrubbed them with a toothbrush. Came out looking pretty pretty good. I'm not gonna polish it or anything. But uh, these I literally let these things soak for about a week in simple green jug i didn't have time to let it sit forever so i just cleaned it up the best i could with the toothbrush and then fucking rinsed it off and then fucking sprayed on some uh fucking not degreaser um fuck I don't know what the hell it's called let it dry and then i fucking primed it painted it do about two or three more coats on it and hit it with some clear and that's it um, yeah, this is it. This is my mess. It's my projects. Um, sorry if I sound like fucking shit. I just feel like fucking shit. Figured make a video just documenting the fucking weird shit I do.